Welcome and thank you all for coming. Uh, my task in these evenings is to frame the debate. And uh, in this particular case, I want to start by quoting George W. Bush, who often proclaimed that Islam is a religion of peace. It's one of the few things they said with which President uh, Obama is in full agreement. And it is doubtless true that the vast majority of Muslims around the world live peacefully and do not condone violent acts. Their secular concerns are dominant, making a living, raising families, educating their children. Their religion provides spiritual comfort, a source of meaning, even transcendence to their lives. On the other hand, just today the New York Times reported that uh, Faisal Shahzad, the, New the Times Square bomber, said in court prior to sentencing, quote, brace yourselves because the war with Muslims has just begun. And certainly in the past decades, the vast majority of terrorist activity has been undertaken in the name of Islam. In some respects, Islamism resembles the totalitarian movements of the first half of the 20th century, the ruthless use of violence in pursuit of ideology and power by Hitler, Stalin, Mao. Just as most of their victims were their own people, most victims of Islamist terror have indeed been Muslims. But history is replete with examples of violent minorities who have held sway over peace-loving majorities. Perhaps the relevant question for this evening is what the majority of Muslims believe. But perhaps it is whether Islam, viewed as an ideological force, is in direct opposition to Western interests and Western values. Should we respect Islam as a religion of peace, or should we accept Samuel Huntington's view that we are engaged in a clash of civilizations. Or might this be a false dichotomy? Can we honor our own traditions of pluralism and free exercise of religion and tolerance and accept that for the vast majority of Muslims it is indeed a religion of peace without compromising our ability to defend ourselves and our values against the ruthless few that wish us harm? Well, these are subtle and complex questions, and we've assembled an extraordinary panel of experts this evening to uh, explore them. It's now my privilege to turn the evening over to our moderator, John Donvan. But before I do so, I'd like to invite a round of applause to congratulate him on his third Emmy Award. <laughs> 